A soccer team that won the national championship says it's being forced to practice in a parking lot because an athletic association will not recognize the team. The founder of the Kalanji Soccer Academy says it's been going on for years, even though the kids have proven themselves time and time again. The county will not budge on this one. Here's Caitlin Ross. Soccer clubs in Georgia have several groups they have to be certified by to even be recognized, have a place to play. This club says the Gwinnett Parks and Rec Department is standing in the way of getting certified, which results in a $7,000 bill per month just to have a place to practice. We're all a family. There's not just teammates, we're sisters. The kids in the Kalanji Soccer Academy play with heart. KSA is a family first. Going from bottom up, just building with what you have. Right now, they don't have much. The teams are practicing in the parking lot of a Gwinnett County field that's too damaged to play on. Even running on the asphalt, their U18 men's team still won the national championship last year. It was a lot of hard work. It was a really fun experience, and hopefully we can do it again this year, but we're going to try our best with the conditions that we have now. The club's founder says they refuse to let anyone stop them. It would have been better for us to be on the field. Uh, the restrooms are locked. It would be better to have restrooms, but uh, these are the conditions that we have, so we'll do the best we can. Head coach Bruno Kalanji started the club when he saw how many kids wanted to play soccer but just couldn't afford it. Half of the children who play on his teams are from refugee families and on scholarship to play. We pick up these kids from their home, you know, we feed them. But right now the club has to pay almost $7,000 a month to Gwinnett County because they're only considered renters, not members of the Youth Athletic Association. Members only have to pay to use the lights on the field for $15 an hour. A spokesman for the Gwinnett Parks and Rec Department would not go into detail about what a team needs to do to get certified. He said there are two clubs that are members that the kids could join and have a field to practice on. But coaches for KSA say the kids want to stay with them. All we're asking is for a home. We want stability for the kids. We're kind of used to being the underdogs and everything, so whatever we have thrown to us, we'll take it. We reached out to every single commissioner in Gwinnett County to find out why they won't take this up for a vote, but so far we have not heard back.